Alright folks, so it is time once again for another Latchkey food review. And I'm having to hold on to my camera today so I don't attract too much sunlight in the window onto the lens. That's been happening a lot lately, so I'm trying to keep that from, uh, you know, happening now. But anyway... We gotta talk Subway, and we gotta talk about their new sandwich, The Beast. Now, I have not tried The Beast. I hear it is quite the expensive Subway sandwich. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Four meats. Not quite sure what those four meats consist of yet. Maybe pepperoni, salami. Uh, turkey or, or or ham, I think it's turkey, and, and maybe roast beef. I'm pretty sure roast beef's on there. I don't know. But today we're going to be taking on the beast, and I will tell you what the meats are when I figure it out a little better. Uh, I see it's one of the newer sandwiches on there that people are trying lately. Uh, some people like to compare Subways to Jersey Mike's. Um, to me, that's a bit of, a bit like apples and oranges, uh, and yeah, the opinions you know vary uh, from place to place. Uh, Y'all know what I like to do. I like to uh, keep things on an individual level. Each place has their strengths and weaknesses, uh, and Subway and Jersey Mike's are no exception. They both have their strengths and weaknesses as well, like. Uh, in my experience with Jersey Mike's, they had, you know, some good, pretty quality meat. Uh, their Italian sub, you know, uh, the ham was really overpowering. Like, the smoke flavor in that ham really overpowered the uh, pepperoni and the salami for me. Uh, where at Subway, you get more of that Italian notes in their Italian sub. Now, uh... that's just my opinion I know uh, people are going to have difference and various varying opinions out there <laughs> and that's okay that's okay Subway definitely had the better bread uh, between the two it seemed to me like uh, when I went to the Jersey Mike's the one that I can get to because we've got Subways everywhere I got one Jersey Mike's I can get to and uh it was lacking. I mean, the bread, they pulled it out of a container. It was a little crumbly, a little crusty. Um, I understand that that might just be a uh, an issue of that particular restaurant. Uh, maybe not Jersey Mike's as a whole. But that's just it. When you're dealing with chain restaurants, you can be hit and miss on these things but I'm going to review both of them uh, and I may break this down into uh, parts like this this is going to be part one <laughs> and, and I'm going to get uh, ooh, snake I dodged him you better get out of that road snake not everybody will dodge you the way I just did it's a baby black snake <laughs> uh they're good. They keep down the rodents and they keep down the poisonous snakes. So, yes, I try to uh, let them live. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was going to try both of them out. And I'm going to make this a three part, probably a two or three part video. Probably a three part video coming up. And I'll try to get all three parts of that out uh, as soon as I can. Uh, we're going to try Subway's Beast first. This is going to be quite an expensive adventure. Uh, both uh, uh, Subway used to be the cheaper restaurant, but they are, they've got some expensive sandwiches now, and I think uh, Jersey Max is pretty expensive too from what I can remember. I think it always was. So we're going to break them down and talk about their individual strengths and weaknesses because some yeah, some people do reviews out there, and I feel like they're a little biased from the get-go, from the very beginning, you know. And and you can make anything look bad, 
uh, depending on how you view it or how you want people to perceive it. Uh, that's why I try to eat everything fresh in the parking lot as soon as I order it. All right. We're going to get into this. This is going to be a fun and exciting uh, <laughs> segment. So today we're taking on the Subway Beast and uh, we'll be doing Jersey Mike's next. And uh, what I'll probably do is save half of each sandwich and uh, do a segment later comparing and breaking down the two side by side. All right then. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Let's go get us a beast. All right, so I'm fixing to go to the closest subway near me, and there are many choices. This is not my absolute pick for subway restaurants. This would be the one I would pick the least. It can be hit or miss, though. I have seen it at its very best, where everything looked good and fresh, and I have seen it at its very worst as well. Um... With the price of Subway going up, the way it has, there's not as many people in there I have noticed uh, as of lately. Uh, the one thing about Subway that always drove attention was the fact that they were affordable. Whoa. We're going to see some traffic jams up here <laughs> as a dump truck trying to get into Subway. <laughs> Okay, they made it. They made it. About caused a traffic jam there. Jeez, man. You want some Subway or what? Holy moly. I don't think this little parking lot's a very accommodating for heavy equipment like that. They're going to make it work, though. All right, so I'm going to go in here. If I can get in here sometime today. And I'm going to order the Beast. Maybe, maybe. If it looks bad, I'll go to a different subway. I can go to a different subway because if I get it and it's a bad experience, that's on me because I know the reputation of this subway ain't the best. So we're going to give it a good old tree out anyway. If I can get in there, Lord have mercy, the parking is crazy today. All right, I'll see you in a second. Let me go get this uh, beast. All right, so here's a picture of what it looks like on the sign before I get in there. We'll see, does it really look like that? All right, so I made it to my car and I got this beast of a sub. And uh, I'm gonna eat half of it now. We're gonna see how beastly this thing is because I tell you what the price was beastly okay all right so seen mixed reviews on this here beast and some people claim that they didn't get enough meat on theirs but my god look at the meat on there <laughs> uh of course, you know, when they fold it and they smush it together, it's going to be layered. But you got to think, you know, there's four pieces of meat on this thing. And it lines up all the way down this sandwich. This was a $17 sandwich for me. $17 and some change. And it is... very meaty that camera does not do that justice that's a chunk of meat to bite into Is it good? That bread is soft. It is fresh. It is right out of the oven. It's not flaky. 
they did a good job in there today. And they are packed. Packed, I tell you. Mm. Do they make a bigger bread for this? This thing's bigger than it usually is. It seems like it's wider, wider than it used to be. Is that wide? Lettuce, pickles, onion, and black olive on this one. Plus some off. Uh, olive vinegar and honey mustard. Now that roast beef on here is the bomb. It's like eating an Italian sub with the addition of turkey and roast beef. Oh my goodness. So I got turkey there, ham, salami, pepperoni, and roast beef. All of those on here. All of those meats on here. That's an expensive sandwich, but it is a good sandwich. All right, folks, sorry about that. I had a phone call I had to answer. Uh, I finished the rest of the sub while I was on the phone, but you seen me eat most of it. So here I am riding down the road, and I'm going to give you my afterthoughts on uh, the Subway Beast. Uh, the veggies were very fresh. Now, I do love the fact that they got that onion, the red onion in there. I call it purple because it looks purple to me, but it's actually red onion. Looks purple though to me, <laughs> but uh, we'll just call it by what it is, red onion. So yeah, I, I enjoy that little bit of onion on there. Now Jersey Mike's doesn't have red onion. They've got the uh, white onion, which I do not enjoy as much on a sandwich situation uh white onion has its place on a cheeseburger as far as i'm concerned uh, i would rather have it in a situation like that or on a hot dog for instance for sure you know if you're eating a hot dog with onions on top of it uh white onions have their place there uh but the uh, purple or red onion definitely belongs on a sandwich i do like that uh better about uh subway as far as their sandwiches go i like the fact that they pull their bread fresh out of the oven at least at this one they did it was freshly cooked uh slightly warm uh i like the new sandwich it's like eating a double meat sandwich like if you were to get like an italian sandwich and their club sandwich at the same time and combine the two of them together to form the beast so basically the extra cost is coming, I think, from more of less like what you would get on a double meat sandwich from Subway. Uh, is it worth $17 for all that extra meat? Not really. I mean, I am fine with just, you know, the regular BMT or the Italian or uh, even just the club, you know, without combining all those meats into one sandwich, you know. For a little bit cheaper price, and when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit cheaper price, because uh, I 
think everything at Subway now is hitting about 10 bucks, but I didn't get anything but the sandwich and it was uh, $17 and some change. I think the uh, prices and the taxes in that town are a little higher than, than most. Uh, and so for me, you know, it would be a, a, a definite, uh, it's a thumbs up as far as uh, flavor and taste goes, but uh, the price, the price isn't worth it. Uh, maybe, I mean, every now and then, you know, if you want to treat yourself to, you know, uh, like a, more of a less like a double meat sub, uh, which is what I'm, the vibe I'm getting from this one, uh, maybe treat yourself that way, or uh, maybe just get the sub that you like and ask for double meat of what it's supposed to be. <laughs> but for me, the ultimate sub is, you know, an Italian BMT from Subway combined with uh, the Subway Club, the, the traditional one with the uh, turkey, ham, and roast beef. And I think that's about what you get here with, uh, with the beast. So, but, all right, folks, that is all I have for the Subway edition of this video, part one. Uh, stay tuned for, you know, the, 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 the second part where I, uh, where I invest in something from Jersey Mike's that is similar to what I just eat here with the beast. I saved half of this sandwich and in the third video we will compare uh, the two sandwiches together. All of that coming up today for me, but you know, it may be in, it's going to be in three parts. So you get some of this today, probably some of it tomorrow. All right, folks, till the next one, y'all have a good one.